we are experiencing things in the fire realm and fuels realm that we've never experienced. Old timers that grew up in this area, you know, said we have never seen a fire like that. Fire doesn't burn that way. The Canyon Creek complex was ignited by lightning in mid-August 2015 in a particularly hot, dry summer in Oregon. The fire quickly grew to become, for a time, the nation's highest firefighting priority during a record year for wildland fire. By the time it was contained in early November, the Canyon Creek fire had burned more than 110,000 acres, mostly on the Malheur National Forest. 43 homes were lost. After the fire was contained, forest management was faced with the challenge of what to do next. All the laws and regulations we still need to meet and follow post-fire just as if it was a, a green forest that was out there. Well, with a fire passing through, that resets the clock. Like Canyon Creek was slated to be in at 2021, we were gonna be back in the Canyon Creek area. Well, we're back in there now. Post-fire management is important to ensure that burned areas offer the greatest possible social, economic, and ecological benefits. Many parties have a stake in post-fire management, yet they often have differing views on how to maximize these values. But a lot of people have strong opinions as far as what should have been done and then what needs to be done. There's a component of the public that really feels that we should salvage everything we possibly can so that we don't lose the value of the product or the commodity. There's a component of the society that, that feels that we should leave everything just as it is because it's a natural process. Finding consensus in conversations about logging trees burned in wildfires is difficult. Historically, land management agencies commonly approve salvage logging to regain some economic value from the burned resource. More recently, agencies have responded to concerns about the effect of logging in areas naturally accustomed to wildfire by sharply reducing salvage. In fall 2015, Blue Mountains Forest Partners, a local forest collaborative, led groups of stakeholders on field tours in and around the Canyon Creek complex to facilitate discussions on how best to manage the landscape and support local communities in the aftermath of the fire. Blue Mountains Forest Partners is an organization that works collaboratively. Its members work collaboratively with the Forest Service to develop proposals and treatments on the ground that will increase the resilience of public lands. The Forest Service is allowed by law to salvage burned areas, but salvage logging is pretty difficult for environmental and conservation organizations. It uh, is pretty critical for area communities and the mills um, for the quality and the size of the wood that it provides. And uh, given the legal and legislative framework that we have, it's pretty easy to shut down salvage sales. Research from past fires often provides a basis for field tours and post-fire management conversations. During one tour, stakeholders explored the site of the Summit Fire that burned 20 years prior. After the Summit Fire, some burned areas were treated in comparison plots, including salvage logging and doing nothing. Observers on this tour decades later could see what worked, what didn't work, and how those lessons might be applied in the aftermath of the Canyon Creek Fire. Field tours are pretty critical. Uh, a lot of our work happens inside. There's a lot of uh, back and forth trying to understand where another person or interest group is coming from and why trying to accommodate that to the BMFP's goals and interests. But what the field tour does is it provides really an on the ground practical context for those conversations. This is it where I think actually working with the collaborative is probably gonna move us forward more than you know any other way of moving forward. One of the things that we're doing with this post, um, post fire management on Canyon Creek is instead of just going out and doing a bunch of logging, we're inviting in a whole lot of researchers and we're helping, they are proposing what exactly the questions are, but we're helping inform those questions with the questions that we have as a collaborative, trying to get some actual research done. The unique opportunity in a post-fire environment is that because you have such a large pulse of snags on the landscape in areas that burned with high severity, is you actually have um, the ability to take off trees for economic benefit or economic reasons while still leaving a lot of snags for wildlife. So a new forest isn't going to mature for 80 years on that landscape, so the snags and logs that we leave behind need to replace what would have been accumulated across time. Groups like Blue Mountains Forest Partners are part of a relatively new but growing approach to facilitating land management discussions in Oregon. 
The state now has 25 collaboratives that aim to bring people with diverse perspectives together. The goal is to find common ground while respecting different values. I think it just came down to the group trusting each other, BMFP, meaning the conservation community, the industry, the local people saying, okay, we've built a level of trust that allows us to say, let's answer the questions. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem being wrong, I just don't believe it will be. And I think in the end, they won't be wrong either. It'll just be somewhere in the middle. Conversations about fire and post-fire management are a priority for many collaborative groups. And as fires burn bigger, hotter, and at greater costs, Stakeholders face an urgent need for finding consensus on how to manage for and after wildfires. What we have been talking about and what we hope to develop is a proposal to give to the Forest Service that addresses issues of concern to people and treatments that address these on the ground. And um, so we'll be working as a group together to do that with research scientists and working with the Forest Service to see what we can get implemented on the ground. Because we have a strong working relationship with our collaborative, we were able to engage them really early and say, okay, look, we're thinking about doing these types of things. Uh, we need your help. Can you give us input on what you would like to see, how we could set ourselves up for success? We don't want to surprise you. We want to keep our uh, communication open and transparent as much as possible. And so, uh, we started that process <clears throat> while the fire was still raging. In early 2016, Blue Mountains Forest Partners came to a consensus decision to move forward on an approximately 4,000 acre post-fire disturbance restoration research project. They are one of the first collaboratives to develop consensus on post-fire management. The agreement is rooted in a shared interest in strong scientific research that can inform discussion and decisions into the future.